everybody welcome back to my channel um so um i started off trying to um you know do my shopping haul and i got the new camera and all that but anyway i got like quarter of the way through and jeremy says it's not recording so then he goes to record it and i start again and he says it turned off and then he checks he's like there's no memory and he's like the card fell out you guys the hassle i've been through just to have to go all the way back into town to return the camera because some jerk returned a, a used camera they flipped they switched them i guess at home and i got it and so i had to take it back and anyway big mess but walmart was very nice very kind had, i didn't have the receipt it was somewhere in the truck and all that my mess and anyway they were able to look it up on my debit card and they're like yeah you bought it a few days ago so they gave me a new one and i bought the little card that goes with it so anyway um the card fell out <laughs> we don't know where it is so um but i wanted to talk to you about something and i'll, I'll do the shopping haul maybe tomorrow but maybe it'll be at the end of this video i don't know but i wanted to tell you guys okay most if not all of you women and men have been busy getting your careers working trying to make a living not cooking from scratch but buying everything at the store right well, now you all are buying food storage, you're getting flour, you're getting sacks of rice and this and that. And today when I was doing the shopping haul, there was at least 12 big giant, I don't know, it was five or 10 pound bags of uh, lily white flour. That's the favorite out here. And they also had um, cornmeal and a bunch of other stuff. But I got like three of them. And then I just felt a prompting to get the rest. You know, like, take them all. So I did. And as I'm doing that, it hits me. People have been buying their food already made at the stores for so long, they have no idea how much flour they're going to be using when there's no bread and you have to make your own. When there's no tortillas, you have to make your own. There's no pancake mix. You have to make your own. And so I wanted to... This is more of like a cautionary video. For those of you that have 5 or 10 pounds of sugar, or not sugar, but flour, even 50 pounds, you have no idea how much flour it's going to take just to make biscuits. Six biscuits, maybe eight biscuits. It's about two and a half cups of flour. You use two. The other half you use for, you know, for uh, rolling and stuff. Use it, you know, for so it doesn't stick. So about two and a half cups for, I'd say, four people to a piece. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to start averaging out how much flour you're going to need for the year. First do a month and then times it by 12. Are you going to have pancakes every morning or maybe twice a week? How much flour or how much pancake mix make your own? Because the box stuff is only going to last you so long. For a family of four, two and a half cups of flour is enough for everyone to have two biscuits. That's plenty. I mean, the mom might only eat one, the dad can get the other one, or the kid might eat one. You know what I mean? There are plenty. It should make, it should, when you roll it out, it should make about eight biscuits. That's how many I get out of it. And they're a good size. So for just about, so for everything you're going to make, that was Christopher. I had to turn it off. He comes in, every time he comes in, he's like, Argh. All right, sorry, he just came back in. Um, so for... Pancakes, I would average about two and a half cups per meal. And and depending on the size of the pancakes or the size of the biscuits. Um, you're going to need flour to make roux. You're going to need flour to flour, you know, your meats or whatever. So, 
a lot of you have been, you know, just buying stuff at the store. Well, when it's not at the store anymore and you have to do it on your own, do you really know how much flour you're going to need? When I was at the Amish store today, and we were, they were, they, those girls, man, they're awesome. They just load up a cart, because I usually come out with like 10 boxes and stack to the gills. And they load them up on a cart and they load my truck. They climb in there. I mean, they're just so sweet. I mean, I mean, I, I spend a lot of money there. So, I mean, that's where I buy all my groceries. So, um, they're just really kind. And, and they let me do post-dated checks and everything. You know, when I get nervous at the end of the month thinking something bad's going to happen, I'll go drop, I'll go write a check for like three, four hundred dollars. And I'm like, can you wait till the first? They're like, yeah, sure. Cause I mean, I never, you know, bounce to check with them or nothing. You know, there's three Amish families I go to and they're just, they're just really wonderful people. And we were talking today and I said, um, I said, you know, that most women, most American women and women all over, they are so used to buying their food already done, already made. And they don't know how to cook from scratch. And they're learning, they're trying, they know this is going to happen, but they have no idea how much flour they're going to need. I said, you see that flour? That's not going to last very long. There's like 12 in 12. I'd say I'd go through... Oh, I go through a lot of flour. I probably go through a five pound, uh, five pound bag in a week and a half, maybe, maybe two. So, um, and then with more people here, with more people here, how much flour do you think I'm going to be going through? A lot. Well, I have a lot. So, but, so I want to caution you and, 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 and just look at YouTube videos and they give you the recipes. And they tell you, look up pancake ones. Um, they look up pancake recipes, look up biscuit recipes. And they will tell you how much you're going to need and how many biscuits it's going to make or how many pancakes or how many tortillas or whatever. For just us three, I'm sticking to two and a half cups. Um, two more people come, then three and a half cups. The half is just for dusting. All right, that's all I want to share with you. And um, think about that because you might want to get more than what you think you're going to need. All right, you guys. I uh, love you all. Stay safe. Shalom. I love you.